<clears throat> I've got some questions to answer. I'm not sure if you're the one to ask. Here's a quick heuristic to decide if I'm a good fit. If it has the words, I'm freaking out tomorrow, soon, it's probably needing more immediacy than what I can give. Reach out to other resources like forums and clinics. Generally, if the question is related to your body, ask a medical doctor. Even if the cause is psychological or relational, it doesn't hurt to get your body on an examination table. If you're asking if something is okay to do, try, ask, etc., I don't answer these questions that people involved do. So if you're asking something like, is it okay to have more than one friend with benefits? Ask your friends with benefits and ask yourself, how about if I don't like masturbating, is that okay? Sexuality isn't supposed to look a certain way. It looks all the ways. If you don't like masturbating because the way you're doing it doesn't feel good, then there are lots of ways to change that and find solutions. If you don't like masturbating because it's just not your thing, it's just not your thing. So what if I want to know if blank is normal? I don't even know what normal means in sexuality. In the field, we try to replace normal with natural. As far as I'm concerned, everything we do and experience is parts of nature. Human beings, nature, is natural. It is still important to attend to the laws, the symptoms, and your feelings, but you don't need to feel unfit for nature. My boyfriend and I were enjoying each other orally, and he came without ejaculating. Is this normal, or is he faking it? Normal? Natural? Check. Was he faking it? You're gonna have to ask him. How can biosex males experience serial orgasms? They can start by separating orgasm from ejaculation. The two are not synonymous. I was told by my doctor that I have an inverted uterus. What does this mean? I'm more familiar with the medical terminology retroverted or tilted uterus. They all mean that the uterus, which is typically pointed toward the navel, is positioned someplace else. Four to five, this way. One in five, something like this. It means that constipation can cause achy sex. If your uterus is pressed up against your digestive system and the feces in it, this can be painful. It can also mean an uncomfortable to excruciating pregnancy. Your doctor is the one to ask. Lindsay, what's wrong with male circumcision? There's something wrong with it? Ah, what? <laughs> I think I understand the confusion. Circumcision isn't bad, wrong, or unlikable. I include it as a sexual injustice when the person being circumcised hasn't given consent and it's happening for non-medical reasons. Circumcision can be a treatment option for phimosis or a cosmetic option for somebody who doesn't want the foreskin there. But there is no medical reason to perform it routinely regardless of religion, biosex, or culture. I'm incredibly passionate about circumcision, not one way or the other, but just informing people so that they're making educated decisions about their baby's bodies and their own bodies. There is no nudity involved, no contraceptions. I can't remember whether or not he ejaculated and I don't remember any wet spots. Can I get pregnant from this? No, but do get yourself to a doctor. It sounds like you're freaking out and I want you to understand dry humping. Aside from scissoring, can you explain more about lesbian sex? I guess my response is that I need more clarification. To me, there isn't lesbian sex, trans sex, hetero sex, just like there isn't Norwegian sex. Sex isn't based on orientation. It's only limited by your imagination. So I get that you're not supposed to actively clean your vagina, but what if you're masturbating with a stream of water? Is that dangerous? Water is okay for your body, probably not the vagina though. You don't want to put it in because it'll flush out the good bacteria that keeps your vagina clean. Can you please do a video on safe sex for lesbians? Did it. Sex shields. Condoms with toys, gloves with hands, dams with mouths. Get tested, communicate honestly. How are you supposed to know your sexual orientation if you haven't ever kissed someone? Your attraction and your fantasies. What is the difference between attraction and fantasies? Attraction is what draws you into a person or situation, like magnetism. Fantasy is the fictional situation that can cause sexual excitement. Do you think you can be in touch with your sexuality without ever having sex before? So many things encompass sexuality, from how you express yourself, perform, think, and get curious. Where do I get that shirt? Ask DFTBA.com for it. Stay curious.